Well, everyone, <laughs> this is a very exciting moment for me. This was a highly anticipated baby for me. This is little Sharon. This is what I look like at this age. This is how my mother dressed me at this age. <laughs> yeah, and um, she had to be in the princess dress. Yeah, I used to wear these shoes, these little sh white sh uh, walking shoes, I guess you call them. She's wearing the little handmade bloomers that everyone tells me I have backwards, but no, that was how the seamstress made them for the, the ruffle to be in the front. Yeah, and she's got on her frilly socks. These are her legs. She's done. She's she's little Sharon. She's little Sharon. She came out beautiful. She does have applied eyelashes. I don't know if you can see them. But they're wispy. I did not glue them. I just used the glue that came with the eyelashes. I didn't want to get glue on her eyes. <laughs> so they're not permanent, but they'll be okay with just me holding her. And she's wearing that beautiful bonnet with that lace, that beautiful lace and the satin ribbon tie. So she is... Uh, She's a big girl. She, uh, I need to, I need to redo this leg because I want it to be a little more turned in and, um, a little bit more weighted. But this, um, this body was a challenge. I don't know if it was meant to be that way, but the leg seams were, uh, uneven. You know where the hole is for the cable tie the material was about an inch longer on one side so I actually had to cut it in order to get the cable tie to go through so yeah and I had to remove the neck ring because I couldn't get the cloth body to cover the neck ring <laughs> there's always challenges with each kit I am telling you and I left this baby bald because, like I said, I did not like her with hair. And uh, you can see that she's got very, very faint, barely there, eyebrows. And um, I think I told you guys that this kit came with sculpted eyebrows. Right. So I just filled in where the sculptor intended for the eyebrows to be. So I'm going to take her hat off to show you her head her gorgeous bald head beautifully bald beautifully bald so there she is I'm going to try to cover that cloth with the white onesie underneath Ugh. so there there's her head she's got veining in her head She's got mottling on her head. Beautifully bald. She's beautifully bald. So, that's her. This is the Huxley kit by Andrea Arcello. And, um,. She's my look-alike baby. I've come to grips with uh, with my emotions about her. Yeah, she's going to get lots of cuddles. Once I fix her legs so that it curves in more <laughs> and I can hold her. But I couldn't wait to come on and show you guys. So, there's little Sharon, look-alike Sharon. And she's going to be getting the bracelet that came home with Ella. It's a little pearl bracelet. 
um, I don't remember if it has Ella's name on it. Anyway, she's going to get, she's going to get a pearl bracelet because I always had to wear my pearls according to my mom when I was a little girl. She said I, even if I was out playing in the dirt, I wanted my dress and my pearls. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness I'm not like that now. <laughs> um, so, please welcome little Sharon into my nursery. I hope you like her. I'll be doing a lot more with her. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you for watching.